In this lesson, we're going to be looking at how to factorize the sum or the difference of cubes. So in previous lessons, we've already learned how to factorize the difference of squares. Why do we call it the difference of squares? Well, difference means minus, and we know that those always have a negative in between them. And then squares are things like 5 times 5, which is 25, 6 times 6, which is 36. It's whenever you multiply the same thing together twice. Now we're going to be looking at the difference of cubes. Now cubes are things like 2 times 2 times 2, or x times x times x. It's when you multiply things together three times, that makes it called, or that's what we call a cube. So to do difference of cubes or sum of cubes, it can be a negative or a positive in the middle. There must be two terms, and each term must be a cube. So for example, I know that this is the same as 1 times 1 times 1. And I know that this is the same as 3x times 3x times 3x. So if that happens where you've got that, all you do is you make a small bracket and a bigger bracket. In the small bracket, you're going to take these numbers here, so 1 and this one, so 3x. You're going to put them a negative because this is a negative. If it was a plus, then you would use a plus, but it's a negative over there. Then what you're going to do is you're going to square this number. So 1 times 1 is 1, and then you're going to square this number. 3x times 3x is 9x squared, and you're going to put that over there. Then in the middle, you are going to multiply these two numbers together. Okay, negative 3x, but then I want you to switch the sign, so you make it a positive. If it was a negative, you would make it a positive. And if it, sorry, if it was a negative, you'd make it a positive. If it was a positive, you'd make it a negative. And then this last one is always going to be a positive. And that's how you do it. Done. Now, I know it might be a bit weird right now, but we're going to do a, quite a lot of examples. Here's our next one. So I know that 2x times 2x times 2x gives us 8x cubed. And then I also know that 3 times 3 times 3 gives us 27. And so what happens now is we have a small bracket, and then we make a big bracket. In the small bracket, you're going to put the 2x, take away 3. Then in the big bracket, you're going to square the, you're going to square this number, so that becomes 4x squared. And then you're going to square this number, that becomes 9. And then in the middle, you're going to multiply these two numbers together. So that's going to be negative 6x, but change the sign. So if it is negative, change it to a positive. And then this last one will always be a positive. Here comes another example. Here's our next example. Now you might be wondering, like, Kevin, this isn't a cube, that's, a, that's got four. But remember what the very first step of all factorizing should actually be, and it, it comes around to catch us when we least expect it, is to always see what you can take out first. So here we could take out a common factor of m, and then you'd be left with m3 plus 27. So now this part is a cube. So what we can do now is we open up a small bracket, and we open up a big bracket. Now I know that this part is m times m times m, and I know that this part is 3 times 3 times 3. So what you do is you then take the, the, the m over here, and you take the 3, and then we're using a plus because there is a plus over here. Then for this part, you're going to square this number. So m times m is m squared, and for this part, you are going to square this number, 3 times 3, which is 9. In the middle, you are going to multiply these two together, which is going to be positive 3m, but then always remember to switch the sign to the opposite, so it will be negative. This one is always a positive. Here's our next one. So we always take out a common factor first. So that common factor would be x, and then what you're left with is 1 take away 8, x to the power of 3. Now, I know that this part here is 1 times 1 times 1, and this part here is 2x times 2x times 2x. So what I then do is I open up a small bracket and a larger bracket, and so here I say 1, and here I say 2x. I keep it as a negative, because that's a negative. Okay, so for this first part, I square this number, so that's a 1. For this last part, I square this number, which is a 4x squared, but I always keep this one as a positive. In the middle, I multiply these two together, which is negative 2x, but then I switch the sign, so it's a 1 plus 2x plus 4x squared. So with this question, what you would do first is you would take out a u as a common factor, 
So then you would be left with U3 take away V3. Then inside this bracket, we've got a difference of cubes. So we know that U times U times U gives us U3. And we know that V times V times V gives us V3. And so what that then becomes is this, then you make two brackets, one small, one big. And then remember here, you just say U take away V. The negative is because this is a negative. Okay, then what we do is we square this number, which is, or that letter, which is u squared, and then we square this one, which is v squared, and that one's always going to be positive. Then in the middle, you're going to multiply these two together, so that'll be negative u v, but then you always switch the sign, so if it was negative, switch it to a positive, and that's how we do it. Let's do one more example. So here you can take out x as a common factor. And then you'd be left with 8x cubed, take away 27y cubed. And then what we know is that this part here is 2x multiplied by 2x multiplied by 2x, and this part is 3y multiplied by 3y multiplied by 3y. So what we can then do is make our small bracket and our bigger bracket, and then we can put the 2x and the 3y with a negative, because that's a negative, and then for this next bracket, you square that, which is 4x squared. And then you square this one, which is 9y squared. You put a plus. Then you multiply these two together, which would be negative 6xy. And then switch the signs so that it's the opposite. And there we go.